Hello, my dear students. How are you all? I am Bashavi, your teaching buddy, and I welcome you all to study class five science with me. A science Horizon Acknowledged Series, a unit of Amit Publishing House. So we are going to study unit six, that is the environment, chapter ten, conservation and waste management. So let's see what all we have to study here. Okay. So the chapter contains. We will study about what is environmental pollution, what is waste management, what is conservation of resources. So things around us such as plants, animals, water, air, the and land, they are the part of our environment. ये सब क्या मिलके क्या बनाते हैं? Environment बनाते हैं. We depend on our environment for many things, for various things like we get water from rain. हमें पानी कहाँ से मिलता है? Rain के through. We depend on plants and animals for our food. We breathe useful gases from the air around us. Atmospheric air, जो हमें मिलता है, वो उससे उसके थ्रू हम breathe करते हैं. We use land to grow food crops. So our environments get dirty when our activities add unwanted and harmful substances to it. And this causes environmental pollution. तो नेचर हमें इतना कुछ देती है एटमोसफेयर हमें इतना कुछ देती है बट बिकॉज ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज एंड वेरियस अनवांटेड थिंग्स दैट वी डू दैट पब्लिक डू ऑन ऑन अर्थ सरफेस व्हिच कॉजेस एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन तो व्हाट इज एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन एनी एनी एक्टिविटी कैरीड आउट बाय अर्थ दैट हार्म्स एयर वाटर और लैंड इज कॉल्ड पोल्यूशन Now the substances that cause this pollution are called pollutants. Pollutants क्या होते हैं? Those those things which are causing pollution. Those are called pollutants. Smoke from vehicle, garbage on roadside, plastic and paper littered in water bodies are example of environmental pollution. Environmental pollution affects air, water and land. यही तीन main चीज़ है जो हमारी sustainability of life के लिए ज़रूरी है. What? Air, water, and land. So this leads to different kinds of pollution. It causes air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, and noise pollution. So what is air pollution? Coming to air pollution, let's see what what is there. Addition of harmful substance to the air is called air pollution. It is caused due to the release of harmful gases from various kind of industries, factories, and the gases are carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. Sulfur dioxide, ammonia, and these all are very harmful gases for all the living organisms. Smoke coming out of vehicles and from factories, as well as burning of waste, are the major sources of air pollution. Smoke from domestic fires, forest fires, and volcanic eruptions also pollutes the air. So, this type of which natural, choti mujhe se volcanic eruptions se jo smoke hota hai, that also causes pollution. Then the uh, smoke which which is there used in domestic purposes they also cause pollution. So these are harmful gases from vehicles that we are seeing every day in our life. They are causing majorly pollution. Now effects of air pollution: sulfur dioxide in the air causes irritation to the eyes. Sulfur dioxide se kya hota hai? It causes irritation to the eyes and it leads to disease such as asthma and bronchitis. High amounts of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere dissolves in raindrops and it causes acid rain. So, jitna zada sulfur dioxide atmosphere ho bhi hoga, utna zada wo evaporate ho ke upper as a cloud form ho jayega. It will mix up with rain and it will cause acid rain, which harms plants and good buildings. They are made up of such buildings like those are made up of marbles. Like if some day it falls over Taj Mahal, it will be completely destroyed. And excess carbon dioxide in the air prevents heat from escaping the Earth's atmosphere, causing the Earth become <coughs> warmer than usual. This warming of the Earth due to polluting gas is called global warming. So global warming क्या होता है? Because of these excess of harmful gases, it is depleting uh, the ozone layer. Because of which क्या हो रहा है? Ultraviolet rays from sun is falling directly on Earth, which is causing excess warmth to the Earth. That is called global warming. Due to global warming, it is believed that glaciers are melting, resulting in flooding of coastal areas in several countries across the world. 
Ammonia when combined with nitrogen and sulfur compounds results in smog. Smog kya hota hai? Hum log usually bolte hai ki Noida Gaziabad mein bhoot smog hai. What is smog? When ammonia, when it combines with nitrogen and sulfur which are present in the atmosphere, they, they make a smog which affects majorly big Indian cities. The gases released into, into the atmosphere are depleting the ozone layer as I told you and which protects us from <coughs> ultraviolet rays of human appetite and it is again causing major disadvantages to the human and uh, living organism that is kind of cancers. So these are smoke released by factories. Okay, smog is a combination word of smoke and fog. That's how the word has become smog. Now preventing and controlling air pollution, walk, ride a bicycle or use public transportation to reduce air pollution. Smoke that is generated in factories must pass through filters before releasing them into the air. So direct chimneys, factories, and nikal ke atmospheric air mein bhej dete hain. No, at least try to use some kind of filters so that harmful gases are not released. Then filters can remove harmful substances present in the smoke. We must use environmental friendly uh, fuels such as which are compressed as natural gas CNG uh, in vehicles. We can use instead of petrol and diesel. We must not uh, burn waste in the open areas. We must grow more and more trees so that they can absorb all the harmful gases, especially carbon dioxide, and they can release more of oxygen, which helps us to breathe freshly. Now, what is water pollution? Addition of harmful substances to water bodies is called water pollution. Waste water from our homes and factories are a major cause of water pollution. We also throw garbage, plastic and other waste into water bodies, polluting them even more. Sometimes excess of fertilizers, using of more pesticides that we put in soil, reach nearby water bodies and pollute them. So, zada farming ke work, agriculture practice ke work, then uh, using of insecticides and pesticides, they also are released into the lakes and uh, river bodies. So, they pollute water. In many cities, Domestic waste is directly released into the water body without water treatment. So this is causing such harmful uh, effects and it is causing water pollution. Many people also wash clothes and bathe animals in nearby water bodies. So jitne bhi small lakes and pond areas hote hai, there people use for their domestic purposes which is again causing water pollution. Now effects of water pollution. Polluted water affects the plant and animals that live in water, sometimes killing a large number of fish and other aquatic animals. Water pollution also causes disease such as typhoid, diarrhea, cholera. So these uh, <coughs> often be here, so they are caused by water pollution. Insects such as mosquitoes, they breed in stagnant water. Mosquitoes zada multiply karke produce hoti hai. and they cause disease such as malaria and dengue. Preventing and controlling water pollution, how you can do that? All cities should have water, waste water treatment. And ek tarah se ek, ek uh, factory hoti hai, plant hota hai, jaha pe waste water treatment uh, um, applicable hota hai. So waste water should be first treated to remove harmful substances before being released into any kind of water system. We must not throw waste into water bodies. People should be stopped from washing clothes and bathing their animals in water bodies. Now coming to land pollution. Addition of harmful substances to land and soil is called land pollution. So as the word suggests, land pollution means pollution which is causing to the land, to the surface, to the earth where we are uh, staying. So addition of harmful substances, they cause land pollution. Throwing waste materials such as uh, uh, plastic bags, aluminium cans, uh, then chips, ke wrappers, chocolates, biscuits. So these anything, whatever we are uh, consuming in our body, we are throwing the litter outside, outside the world. Why? Because it's major cause of land. It is a major cause of land pollution, and it is affecting us all of us badly. Waste from construction sites, industrial waste, is also a cause of land pollution. Land is also polluted with excess use of fertilizers that are used in fields. These days e-waste, e-waste in the form of discarded keyboards, monitors, mouse, then <coughs> mobile phones, jo, pas, jo use nahi kar rahe, 
yeah, whatever switch, electronic, these are called e-waste. They have been thrown like that. So they also cause land pollution. Now what are the effects of land pollution? Land pollution leads to waste material rotting on the land around us. This result in breeding of flies that causes diseases. Land pollution due to excessive fertilizer <coughs> makes the uh, land lose its fertility. If land ki fertility uh, is not the crops will not be able to grow on that. Plants such as food crops will not be able to grow. Waste materials in and around and uh, the roads they give out dirty smell and pollute the air as it is land. E waste have harmful substances that it leads um, to the ground. So e waste se kuch chemicals, kuch uh, batteries, se jase acids, chemicals they they are being released and they uh, pollute the ground and it can lead to land pollution. Now, how you can prevent and control land pollution? First of all, we must not throw waste to the waste on the ground or on the land. Waste should be thrown in waste bins, and that can then be uh, later disposed of by a proper municipal agency. We must dispose e-waste correctly and not just throw them away. As in, you throwing it away. Don't do that. Many agencies in big cities they collect e-waste to recycle it to make it for a further disposal we must avoid the use of materials such as plastic bags as they stay on the land for many years and they do not decompose we must only use sufficient fertilizers and preservatives we must try to use natural fertilizer wherever and however possible and which are not harmful to the land okay now coming to noise pollution what is noise pollution very loud song is called noise. Ek to hota hai listening to good music on a low volume, on, on a moderate volume. But there is again loud sound coming out of speakers, DJs, so they cause noise. Excessive and continuous noise is called noise pollution. Honking of vehicles, wearing loudspeakers, working of large machineries in factories, running of machines in construction sites, bursting loud firecrackers. <coughs> They all cause noise pollution. Now, what are the effects of noise pollution? Lo loud noise can cause headaches and ear aches. It also damages our eardrums. Exposure to loud, uh, loud noise over a long period of time may even cause deafness or loss of hearing. Now, how you can prevent and control noise pollution? Loud speakers must not be played too loud and for too long. Electrical appliances must be maintained and oil regularly to reduce the noise which are produced by them. Honking of vehicles should be controlled in residential areas. People who work in areas that have continuous uh, loud noise should protect their ears by wearing ear muffs. So, agar jo workers who are working in these areas, they must wear uh, heavy ear muffs so that noise should not affect their ears. Now, what is a waste management? Waste is something to throw away because of because we do not need it anymore, we, because it is of no use to us. Our homes produce a lot of waste every day. Waste is also produced by factories, restaurants, hospitals and offices. And all these waste are of, not of the same kind. So what are the types of waste? Waste, is, waste are of two types, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable waste go hote hai. Those can easily rot, jo achhe se the rot ho jate hain, sar jate hain, or get decomposed. Waste such as garlands made of plants, paper bags, fruits and vegetable peels, eggshells, animal dung. These are some biodegradable waste. So, ऐसी चीजें जो थोड़े से organic तरीके से decompose होते हैं, like uh, we have paper bags, we have fruit peels, vegetable peels, shells. Or edible things uh, which are you know which uh, have been rotten, so they are they come under biodegradable waste. We can manage biodegradable uh, biodegradable waste in the following ways. Uh, how fruits and vegetable peels, leftover dry leaves, waste paper, and etc. can be converted into compost. Compost means khad fertilizer. This is done by layering the waste in compost pit. एक तरह का compost pit होता है. So whatever uh, peels or vegetables and fruits or edible things you can put into it. Earthworms and microorganisms such as bacteria present in the soil break down the waste into nutrients. Wo log usne, 
डेवलप होते हैं दीज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एंड दे ब्रेक डाउन वेस्ट इन टू न्यूट्रिय एंड दे मेक द सॉइल फॉर टाइम Animal dung, especially that of cattle such as cows and buffaloes, they are used to produce a fuel called biogas. So, non-biodegradable waste कौन से होते हैं? These are waste that cannot easily rot or get decomposed. ये जो आसानी से decompose नहीं होते. These remain without changing for many many years, leading to their accumulation. Rather, वो और accumulate होते रहते हैं, इकट्ठे जमते रहते हैं. Waste such as plastic bag, aluminium foil, plastic plates, glass, wrappers of food packets, and broken glass. They are some non-biodegradable waste. We can manage. Uh, we can manage non-biodegradable waste as in how waste plastic can be collected and converted into plastic pellets in factories. Okay, these pellets can then use uh, used to make new products such as tables, chairs, bags. Waste such as aluminium and glass. can be sent to factories where they are melted down and new material is again formed using them so whether waste is biodegradable or non biodegradable we can manage all these kinds of waste material using the three r's now ye bahut important hai what are the three r's what are the three r's of waste management let's see uh, r first r is reduce reuse and recycle reduce reuse and recycle so reduce means reducing the number of things that we use at least try to use a little less things that we use generally this reduces the amount of waste created then reuse is finding new uses for things that would normally be thrown away as a waste so uh, any that we are uh, wasting the things which we do not need so at least we can find a new way reuse karke ki usko naye tarike se bana sakte hain recycle means making new things out of used things making new items from recycled ones and use it pure and uh, once we have used it we can further making products from those new materials so three r's kya hue reuse then uh, sorry reduce first of all reduce that is less in use reuse and recycle so they are saying whether aapka waste material biodegradable hai ya non biodegradable आप थ्री आर्स यूज करके इस वेस्ट को मैनेज कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज दाइंड ऑफ मैनेजिंग योर वेस्ट वॉट इज कंजर्वेशन ऑफ रिसोर्स एयर वॉटर ऑयल फॉरेस्ट मिनरल्स एंड एनिमल्स दे ऑल आर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज वी मस्ट यूज दीज रिसोर्सेज केयरफुली एंड कंजर्व दैम कंजर्व दैम मीन्स सेव दैम एज दे आर लिमिटेड so the use of resources in such way that it protects them from being used completely is called conservation conserve karna matlab is tarah se usko use karna that we can save it and they should not be used up completely and what are those things air water soil forest in cheezon ko hame conserve karke rakhna chahiye what are the type of resources so we have two types of resources renewable resource and non renewable resource renewable resources wo hote hain natural resources that last for a long time and can be replaced by natural process and they are used up uh, and as they are used up they are called renewable resources so those natural resources which last for a long time bahut lambe samay tak rehte hain and can and that can be replaced by natural process only as they are used up and they are called renewable resources air water soil forest animals sunlight ये सब किसके अंदर आते हैं रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेज सम वेज टू कंजर्व रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेज आर एयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैन बी रिजर्व और कंजर्व बाय नॉट पल्यूटिंग इट अगर हम पल्यूशन कम करेंगे तो एयर विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी कंजर्व वी कैन कीप द एयर क्लीन बाय प्लांटिंग मोर एंड मोर ट्रीज वाटर कैन बी कंजर्व बाय नॉट वेस्टिंग इट आर वाटर को वेस्ट मत करिए वाटर विल बी देयर विद यू preventing leakage of water from taps and water pipes storing water using rain water treating waste water so these are the ways to conserve and save water soil can be conserved by preventing soil erosion and keeping the soil fertile to so, jitna hum apna land pollution kam karenge hamara soil utna fertile rahega also by preventing soil erosion also some methods to prevent soil erosion are uh and a forestation that is growing more trees and not allowing allowing overgrazing of animal agar overgraze animal karenge so trees will be finished forests are a valuable resource that can be conserved by preventing deforestation 
or large scale cutting of trees. Afforestation or planting more trees is the best way to conserve our forest. Animals are useful to us as they maintain a eco balance, a balance in the nature. Some animals are illegally killed for their uh, body parts like elephants you are killed for their uh, tusks, ivory, rhinoceros for their horns. So the World Wide Fund for Protection of Nature and Natural Resource has listed many animals such as crocodile, tiger, rhinoceros and elephants as endangered because they are being hunted and killed. non renewable resources kya hote hain those natural resources that cannot be replaced by natural resource natural process once they are used they are called non renewable resources ye dobara ek bar khatam ho gaye so they cannot be produced or recreated so they include natural gas coal and petroleum ye jo fuels hain which we are using excessively in our day to day life they are natural uh, Uh, products which are non renewable once they are finished it cannot be created uh, after millions of years again it will be created but not sooner so these fuels take millions of years to form from the earth's crust like from remains of dead animals and plants these fuels are also called fossil fuels some ways to conserve non renewable resources are walk or cycle whenever possible instead of using vehicles on a daily basis fossil fuels are used in generating electricity so we should try and conserve electricity by switching off fans and lights when not in use then instead of fossil fuels renewable sources such as solar energy or energy from the sun can be used for generating electricity and other uh, products so they can be used by uh, solar panel uh, for cooking and heating of food and water so let's recall once again what is uh, what is there we get water from rain we depend on plants and animals for our food addition of harmful substance to water body is called water pollution addition of harmful substance to air is called air pollution substance that cause pollution are called pollutants loud noise can cause headaches and earaches excessive and continuous noise is called noise pollution air water soil forest minerals and animals are natural resources so let's try to answer some questions now do you think non biodegradable waste are more harmful to the environment than biodegradable waste give reasons to support your answer so as i told you about non biodegradable waste are those waste which cannot be uh, rot or decompose easily so examples were plastic aluminum then uh, foil papers glass so these are what non biodegradable waste yes they are harmful to the environment because wo rot nahi hote they cannot be decomposed so they cannot they on the contrary they accumulate more and more once they are be uh, there in the waste bin so wo hamari uh, environment ko harm karti hai as they cause more of land pollution soil pollution and water and air pollution so definitely they are more harmful Now write a few sentences describing the three R's of waste management. So three R's were uh, first is reduce, reuse, and recycle. First, try to reduce the things which you are using in a daily purpose. Then reuse, try to reuse the things which you are already you are using so that it can be more of your use. Then is recycle. Those things which you think are is of no use to you. is a waste product you must try to put it into the recycle process so that they can further be formed in a new product and can further be used what is the difference between renewable and non renewable resource give more example so renewable resources are the natural resources which uh, which can be replaced by a natural process only like sun air water uh, animals so once uh, these things are um, you know they are finished they are, they cannot be finished up and they can be again made up by a natural process only non renewable resources are uh, petroleum natural gas and fossil fuels jo ek bar finish ho jaye so they takes millions of years to form or recreate again so uh, they are, they are the example now write a short note on how we can conserve non renewable resources so uh, on uh, as i told you how we can conserve here was the point walk or cycle whenever possible then fossil fuels are used to generate electricity 
to try to uh, conserve electricity when you are not using them and try to use solar panels and solar geysers solar heaters more which are using directly from the sun so uh, to use your uh, instead of electric appliances so this way you can uh, conserve our non renewable resources so my dear students this was all about this chapter it was a little lengthy chapter but very simple and easy to understand what you have to do aapko dobara se ye chapter learn karna hai read karna hai and try to write down all the answers on your own till then stay excited for the clamp of next video stay happy and healthy thank you so much